Hello everyone, today in this video I will explain to you, what are the major signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is extremely important. Vitamin D has effects on many systems in your body. Vitamin D differs from other types of vitamin. Because the functions of vitamin D are similar to hormones. And every single cell in your body consists of a receptor for vitamin D. Before the starting video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon. Do you know? When your body's skin is exposed to sunlight, then cholesterol in your body makes vitamin D. There are certain foods you can obtain vitamin D. They are fortified dairy products, fatty fish. Therefore you cannot get enough vitamin D from a single diet. The vitamin level in the blood is low at about 1 billion worldwide. Actually, vitamin D deficiency is extremely common. Now I am going to talking about the, what are the most common risk factors of vitamin D deficiency. Being elderly, being obese, not eating much dairy and fish, having dark skin, always using sunscreen when you are going out, staying indoors, and living far from the equator where the amount of sunlight is low. As people who are living close to the equator, they get enough sunlight. Therefore they are less likely to have vitamin D deficiency. Next, I am going to explain to you which are the major signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. Tiredness or fatigue, feeling tired or fatigued is one cause of vitamin D deficiency. But unfortunately, it is neglected as a potential cause. At one time a woman blamed chronic daytime headache and fatigue. Then her vitamin D level was tested. It was only 5.9 ng per milliliter. This is too low. Because anything lower than 20 ng per milliliter is concerned as deficient. But she could raise her vitamin D level to 39 ng per milliliter and resolve symptoms after taking vitamin D supplements. Low levels of vitamin D will lower your energy level. An extensive study with the participation of young women revealed that there is a linkage between vitamin D and tiredness or fatigue. The second most common symptom is back and bone pain. Vitamin D is involved in bone health in several ways. Especially vitamin D is involved in calcium absorption. Bone pain and lower back pain are the signs of lower levels of vitamin D in your bloodstream. The relationship between vitamin D deficiency and chronic lower back pain. One large observational study with the participation of more than 9,000 old women expressed the linkage between the level of vitamin D and back pain. These researches revealed that vitamin D deficiency is more likely to back pain, and this back pain bound the daily life activities. Additionally, people with low levels of vitamin D are nearly twice as likely to have pains in the bones of their legs, joints, and ribs, compared with people with normal levels of vitamin D in the blood. The third most common symptom of vitamin D deficiency is getting sick often. Vitamin D is essential for the well-functioning of your immune system. It is extremely important as this system fights against bacteria and viruses that cause diseases. The immune system is directly connected with the cells that are accounted for fighting infections. If you are frequently getting infected or sick especially with flu or cold may be signs of inadequate vitamin D levels in the blood. Many studies revealed an association between vitamin D deficiency and respiratory tract infections, including pneumonia, bronchitis, and colds. But keep in mind you can lower your risk of respiratory tract infections by taking vitamin D supplements. The next most common symptom is bone loss. Vitamin D plays a vital role in bone metabolism and calcium absorption. Most people who are with bone loss are recommended to take more calcium as they are deficient in vitamin D. If your bone mineral density is low, it indicates your bone has a loss of calcium and other minerals. Low bone mineral density keeps you at an increased risk of fractures. This is most common among older adults. An extensive study with the participation of middle-aged women in menopause or postmenopause showed that there is a potent link between low vitamin D levels and low bone mineral density. The final most common vitamin D deficiency symptom of this video is hair loss. Hair loss is a common cause of stress. Nutrient deficiency is a major reason behind this hair loss. 
the specially hair loss in women significantly associated with low vitamin D levels. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease. This disease can be annotated by bitter hair loss from the head to other parts of the body. Alopecia areata is linked with rickets. Rickets is a disease that causes soft bones, especially in children. The contributing factor is vitamin D deficiency. So, people with alopecia areata will lower their levels of vitamin D, and this tends to be associated with severe hair loss. The final summary of this video. Fatigue and excessive tiredness are signs of vitamin D deficiency. Bone pain and lower back pain are the causes of vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D plays a major role in the functions of the immune system. Low bone mineral density is a sign of vitamin D deficiency. And hair loss may be a sign of low levels of vitamin D in your blood. Thank you very much for watching my video until the end. See you in my next video.